And Bacha doing the smart thing. Leading Russia. Here's Sergei Fedorov. He shoots at a glove save by Yaramir Dragon. Saw it all the way, and he hangs on for the face. Playing, he shoots and hit the part of the goalpost on the left side as Dragon did the split to Darius Kasparaitis. Kasparaitis down in deep as he looks in front. Now gives it back to Gonchar at the blue line. Off to the right side. Fedorov score! Tipped in front by Nemchinov. Nemchinov was right in front, battling with Yergus Bacha. Knocked down once, right there. Watch how he gets knocked down. He gets back up and then shows strength on his stick as he's being taken out of the play again to deflect the puck going in. Gonchar moves it over to Fedorov, and again, in front, just a tremendous play by Sergei Nemchinov of the New York Rangers. Peter Bondra, right wing. Bondra coming in front, he shoots, and a save. Bondra again, shoots, he scores! He followed his rebound, or the rebound followed him, I should say. Watch the speed, and then the move right here. He just turns it on, good move, gets the shot. Trefilov with a good save. <laughs> and you're right, Bondra <laughs> turned around, and there was the puck. The quick shot as Trefilov was still down on the ice. Bondra with the goal at 11.08. There's a shot and a glove save on the shot by Sergei Gonchar. And Dragon just flirted himself just yeah. uh, out to center ice. There's a break from McGillney. Shoots, he scores! Slovakia let McGillney get behind him, and he ties the game at 2-2. Two to two. Decides to throw it up in the air and kick it. Why he did that, I'm not exactly sure. And you can see the Slovakian players going to the bench for a change. Russia catches them the other way. Fedorov, a perfect pass to Mogilny, who we mentioned wasn't visible the other night. Well, he certainly was here. Here's Gonchar. There's the initial play. Now watch, he just kicks it for some reason. He must not be able to handle the puck. <laughs> and Russia took it back the other way as Slovakia was changing players. And Mogilny finishes it off. Team well, after the first shot was uh, taken by Richard Zednik. Now Kovalenko. Mariano in front. Kovalenko, his shot blocked in front as it comes back out to the right side and held in there by Severdovsky. Now along the board. Kozlov to Kovalenko. He's got Fatisov with him. Fatisov just sent it wide to the left side. Fatisov driving down the left side of the slot, just directed it wide to the left. Handle the puck, move it, get the blue line, and make play. Both of these teams. One hand pass up the middle, and a shot by Mogilny is just wide to the right. Puck comes back into the corner. Played there now as uh, the teams in the tournament weren't. Here, uh, Team Slovakia across the line. A shot, save, rebound, and a save. As Kreplov makes two big saves. Chetan was right there, Bill. This Slovakia team is showing that when they get the puck offensively, they can do something. Kozlov with a shot and a save by Dragon. Kozlov. Some people had doubt whether they can get it back for a while yet, but they're, they're certainly enthusiastic. Mallory Bure with a shot that dropped out of the glove of Dragon, and he apparently didn't see it for a while. There's Zygmunt Palfi cutting in. He shoots, and a save deflected up high by Trepilov and up into the crowd. I think that might have hit the goalpost even, Bob. Rebound the other one, just going the other way. Here it is again, Palfi trying to go up high. You can see Trefilov down and kind of angled, and that puck just off the post and up and offensive defenseman. So that should benefit them in this situation. Here is Fetisov on the left side with his game tied at two. They got a man in front all alone, and he scores! It's McGillney on the right side. Alexander McGillney was left all alone. Coming up, here's Fetisov. Now look at all the Slovakian players on one side. That leaves McGillney, and McGillney just was so patient on this play. Most players would have slapped at the puck right away, but Mogilny got it. Now watch, he holds on, waits for the goaltender to go down, waits, waits, pulls it back, so he's got a better angle to shoot high over the goaltender. What a goal by Alexander Mogilny. All day over on the right way. Peter Bondra again. Bondra shooting and a save by Trevelov. Nice save as he went down and gloved it right at ice level to hang on with 17 and a half. Bondra took his time, waited, then decided to take the shot. And Trefilov had to really stretch out with his catching hand and make the save on the Everdeen. Travel Dimitra. Dimitra wins the draw here. Dropa with a shot and a save by Trevilov. 13 seconds left to go in the period. Puck taken and cleared out across and back out to center ice. And Slovakia back to get it. Pass the left side to Stumpo. He fell down. He went to shoot and fell down. And back come the Russians up to center ice. Kovalev 
Across the line, hanging on, feeds it in deep and a save by Dragon as he hangs on on the shot by Sergei Berezin. Go to break it up. Comes to Shvela. His shot is up high and off the glass. With Karen back out the center ice. Bacha with it. He is hit and knocked down from behind by Jamnov. Bacha went down hard on the ice. And now Ben Larionov wanted involved with this team, so he's serving as an assistant coach. Kasparaitis with a shot save. Rebound then Chinov and his whistling shot is high and wide to the left side. And it comes out of the center ice where he is Sergei Berezin. Berezin, he's in deep and he's got some room. Look at him maneuver and he shoots wide to the right. Puck taken there by Tverdovsky. Tverdovsky off to Korolev. He uh, tried to hang on to it left side, couldn't do it. Kovalev, I should say. Now uh, it is knocked down by Dragon and he hangs up. The center ice, 3-2. Russians lead. Long shot and a save. Seeger got the shot from out near the blue line, but... Trefilov saw it all the way. Well, Hoschuk had set up the play. Hoschuk has been around a long, long time as well, 32 years of age, and he handles the in period. In Montreal at the Molson Center. Here's Seeger with it. Seeger right side. Shot on the club. Saved by Trefilov on a shot by Kolnick. Lubomir Kolnick leaned into that one, and a nice glove save. Uh, some comments about the ice surface there. Here is Pulpy shooting. He scores! Zygmunt Pulpy stole the puck and tied the game for Team Slovakia. Boy, you had just finished at the middle, and that was Nemchinov that lost it. Pulpy with a good little move, and he is a sneaky player. Not big, 170 pounds. And here it is here. Fatisov, Nemchinov tries to make the move, and Pulpy, Pulpy just picks his pocket and then puts the puck right through the legs of Trefilov. And Slovakia has come back to tie this game three goals apiece. Merziak sends it down in deep. Otto has Chuck behind the net. Has Chuck turns, shoots, deflected up the middle. Shot knocked down again right in front. The rebound came right up the middle and was shot by Lubomir Kolnick, but never got the Slovakia with it. Varholek across the line. Shot knocked down as it was shot by Zednik and knocked away by Trefilov. Even Trefilov looked a little bit shaky on that last shot. Right. Back to Fedorov. Fedorov right side, throws it in front. Shot save made on the shot by Tverdovsky as he snuck in. And a save by Yaramir Dragon. Now on the right side, Zednik in deep, shoots and a save on the rebound sent wide. Richard Zednik with a good chance as he came in on the right side. We're still tied at three and things are heating up here across the line. It is tipped away from Valerie Burke. In defense, and we're able to fight them off and then eventually clear the zone. Here moving in, Lariano shoots and a save. Rebound, the score! Slava Kozlov was right in front. There, fight for the rebound and stay with it. Here's the first save right there. Dragon goes down. Now there's Kozlov right there. Then gets knocked in and is able to just stretch out with his stick. You could see the stick as the puck was on the goal line. That was the stick of Kozlov. There's the first save. Here's Kozlov. Watch the stick right there. Off the post and then Kozlov, a tremendous goal as he was down on the ice. And then... The way to pronounce it. Correct. That's where it'll be in 1998. Right side, a shot from there and a save by Trevilov on a shot by Lubomir Shakaris. Now it comes off on the right side to Seeger. 4-3, Russia leading. Kozlov from Larianov at 12-42. Trefilov, the goaltender, also getting an assist for Team Russia on the last goal. We've got a four-on-four -four skating situation here with penalties to a good point earlier when you were talking about the travel maybe catching up. Dimitra hit the goal post and it's poked away. Pardon me, the, the travel may be catching up to the Russian team because they do look a little more sluggery and they come right back with another chance. And look at the quick backhand. Had Trefilov beaten on the play and the puck just off the left post. Now Zygmunt Palfi says Jamnov into Kozlov. Slava Kozlov. He's chased behind the net by Haschuk. Up to the blue line. Here's Sergei Gonchar. Shoots and a save by Dragon. Yaramir Dragon down to his knees to make that save on Sergei. Not having a contest. Zygmunt Palfi on the backhand is wide to the right side. Palfi coming down the right wing, but he's shot wide and played now by Fedorov up ahead on the right side. Clears it out to center ice to Palfi. Here's Palfi across the line. Shoots, and it's deflected back into the corner off the stick of Trefilov. And the power play has two seconds up to the right point. Shvela shooting and a save by Trevelov. That came through some traffic. Pavel Dimitra was right in front trying to screen the goaltender. Puck cleared by Russia to center. 
Taken by left side. Gets it to Shatan. He can't get the shot. Held into the blue line. Shot by Sakarish is wide. Picked up back behind the net. They've got Zednik in front. His shot knocked down. Larianov plays it there. 56 seconds left to go. They're not the most talented team. Puck intercepted and shot wide by McGilney. There was a bad mistake right there, right up the middle with that pass, right under McGilney's step. Ivan Dropa with a long shot deflected wide. No respect for you. It's about twice tonight. You're in the middle of a thought. And, and they uh, give the puck up. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Bondra steps across the line to Palpy. Palpy shoots and a save by Trefilov. A lot of room for Palpy on the left side. 12 seconds left to go in the second period. Here's Alexander McGillney. McGillney with time running out. Steps in deep. Centered it. It's intercepted there. As the Karras tried. Now Fedorov shoots. He scores! With a minute seven to go in the second period. Or 1.7 1. seconds. 1.7 7 seconds. That was as the Slovakians had played a good period. They were down by a goal. And there's the giveaway again right onto the stick. Uh, Sergei Fedorov, some traffic in front of Dragon, who was going down on the play, but that's a huge... At, uh, second period with a 1.7 seconds left. This one is covered up by Yaramir. Bondra's pass taken away. Russia with it. Right side, Nemchinov cutting in, and it is knocked down by Dragon, and he hangs on. Sergei Nemchinov trying to get around. Yeah. The fact that the Slovakia defenseman, very inexperienced, made a, a nervous play. Ovalenko with a shot knocked down by Dragon as Larianov headed for the net. Larianov just passed it off on the left side. Out back comes Slovakia. Left side. Shot from there. Scores! Dano Seeger! Big goal for Team Slovakia by Dano Seeger, and it pulls him to within one. It's five. Now look at this play right here. Let's the puck go and gets the defenseman going one way. He came the other way. And then just a tremendous shot from the top of the circle. Beats Trefilov. He put the move on the youngster, Tevardovsky. And Tevardovsky went one way. Zdeno Seeger went the other way. And Seeger. Five seconds left to go in the power play for Team Russia. They haven't done much with it so far. Here is a drop pass for Gonchar. Gonchar in deep. Shoots. He scores! Power play goal for down. They do a pretty good job again here. Look at forcing the puck, forcing the play. Gonchar follows up on the play, but watch, he's almost off balance. Just kind of throws one at the net, and Dragon was going down, spread his legs, and just got a piece of the shot. There it is again, the shot. Boy, that's, that's a weak shot, and Dragon lets it go through his legs, and Russia regains their two-goal lead. Gonchar with a power play goal. And here they come again. Stumble with a shot. Safe stumble. Rebound and just tipped away. Alexei Zhitnik. And they've got Zygmunt Palfi with him. Here's Palfi across the line to Bondra. Shoots on a save by Trevelov. Bondra right side. Checked out by Zhitnik. And the puck is cleared to the blue line and up to Zhamnov at center. Zhamnov left side against Bacha. Zhamnov with a shot and a save by Dragon. Against Vela, and that's the Kasparitis that went to hit Eric Lindros missed in his own player. Vela shoots a save as the puck comes back to the blue line, held in on the power play. Here he is, Bacha. He throws it down the right side to Palfi. Back out to Vela. Vela's pass out of the reach of Stumple. Pinching in is Bacha. His pass taken away by Yushkevich. Yushkevich checked in the corner, but it comes up to uh, Joseph Stumple. Stumple holds it in, gets it to Palfi on the power play. Palfi shoots and a save. Actually, may have tipped off the stick of Bondre into the corner. Bondra back over to get it. Bondra checked by Yushkevich. Puck up to Palfi. Now to Stumpel. Up the middle to Bacha. Back to the blue line to Shvela. Shvela, right side. Gives it to Palfi. Palfi shot. Deflected back into the corner. Now Bacha back behind the net. The defenseman. Bacha hanging on. Rolled it in front, but it hit a skate and is not clear. Held in nicely at the blue line by Shvela. Shvela hanging on. He shoots. Saved by Trepalov. Puck comes back over on the left side. 28 seconds left to go on the power play. Slovakia, Bacha with it, shoots just wide. Rebound picked up by Stumpel. Stumpel along the boards left side, gives it to Bacha. Bacha at the blue line, top of the slot, gives it left side to Stumpel. Stumpel shoots, blocked by Yushkevich, and he will not be able to clear. These Good job. killers are tired, Bob. Good job by Stumpel to hold it in there, but now... Bondra in front, you can see Trefilov, the goaltender, looking around, and... That shot didn't get through as Yuskevich was able to block it and clear the puck away from his goaltender. Here's McGillney at center ice. McGillney with Nemchina. McGillney to Nemchinov, he scores! Beautiful play. Nemchinov headed right for the net of that.
defense just could not keep up with them. Left side, Chatan with a shot and a save by Trevelov. He knocks it down to Yushkevich, and uh, Team Russia takes over with 2 4. In the tournament, they were defeated last night in Montreal by Ooh. Team Russia. Up to center ice, Kolnick sends it across the line, but intercepted by Scott Stevens, sends it ahead. Now on the left side, Gretzky shoots, and a save by Mega. Wayne Gretzky from the left faceoff circle, and Mega with his stick, but lost his stick, and then just took his hand and batted it all the way back into the Team Canada zone. Canada in the tournament, four out of 11 on the power play. Here's Gretzky in the slot. He tried to give it to Lindros. Here's Coffey shooting and a save by Mega, and he batted it back behind the net. Chasing it down there is Gretzky, taken away by Josef Stumpel, and he will clear to center ice. To go on the power play, Coffey shoots wide, rebound, set up the middle, Shanahan shoots, deflected wide. Puck comes back over to Coffey. Coffey on the left side of the power play to Brendan Shanahan. Shanahan to Gretzky. Gretzky sets up, he's got Shanahan, he shoots, and a save by Mega. Rebound right in front, Lindros barrels in to pick it up. He's checked down in the corner by Ivan Dropa. Now Otto to center ice, Trevor Linden with the Vancouver Canucks right down the middle. Shot wide to the right side. Adam Graves came right down the middle and shot it wide. Linden checked by Ivan Dropa. Now to the right point, shot by Sylvain Cote in his first game. He was a late addition to this Canadian team. His shot went wide, and the puck cleared back out to center. Flurry, Flurry into the zone, shoots wide. Went for the short side, shot it wide. It comes back now behind the net. Pass in front, and stopped right there on the doorstep is Keith Primo. Primo got it from Lindros, and he puck comes to the blue line to Cote. Cote gives it on the right side, and... Uh, Getting knocked down was Trevor Linden. His pass taken away by Bacha. Nice lead pass up the left side. Taken across the line by Lubomir Kolnick. Kolnick to Palfi. Palfi drops it back. Shot saved by Curtis Joseph. Joseph Stumpel was right in the slot. Get the red jerseys. Those are Canadian forwards. There are three white jerseys ahead of them. That's a three on two. Zygmunt Palfi is the last player coming in. He'll get the chance. And the first save of the night by Curtis Joseph is a good one. With a shot knocked down, here is Messier trying to center it, but Ivan Dropa took it away. Adam Foot makes a nice play at the blue line to hold it in, but now it's forced out to Sue Kolnick at center ice. Lubomir Kolnick gives it to Zdeno Seeger. Seeger had it poked, chucked away by Eiserman. Kolnick plays it now. Kolnick off to the left side, and a shot from there by Varholek, and a save by Curtis Joseph on the blast by Jan. Face off in the Canadian zone, out to the left side, and Varolek with a drive and a save by Curtis Joseph, and he covers the rebound. Curtis Joseph has had to make a couple. Nick checks him on the left side. Matra with a shot. Easy save made there by Curtis. It's more difficult for Canada in the offensive zone. The Slovakians are playing a little more physical than they did last night. Last night they also, as we mentioned, did not get great goaltending. Now pass in front, save, and talk about great goaltending. There's one there. Roman Mega with a nice stop there on Trevor Linden and back to center ice on a delayed penalty. Slovakia with it. Right side pass in front. Tip and a save by Curtis Joseph on the try by 194. So he gave away a lot of weight. like he was 134, <laughs> didn't he? At center ice, Team Slovakia chasing it down with 5.15 to go here in the first period. And they are holding their own. Remember last night in the game against Russia, the interview with Peter Bondra. Here's a break down the middle. Otto Haschuk in front. Shoots and a save by Curtis Joseph. Otto Haschuk came right down the middle and Curtis Joseph. Made the pass. You can see everyone going one way. Kolnick threw it back the other way and that allowed him to walk in. And Curtis Joseph, we talked about his athletic ability. He tends to stay back in the net. Look at the concentration here. Stays with him. He starts going one way, but that athletic ability, he's able to move the right leg out, stay with the, the losing, playing for the Islanders, but we're not happy. Now Canada shot by Dan and a save by Mega. Stick save by Mega on the shot by Poos and a save by Mega. Stick save by Mega on the shot by Vincent Danfoos. Puck in the middle, Danfoos again and a save by Mega. Rebound out of the reach of Gretzky. Gretzky goes down. Here's Eric Lindros with it now with a man advantage in front of Danfoos and he shot it wide. Out to the right point. Paul Coffey with it there. Coffey to Gretzky. Gretzky to Coffey. Coffey to Gretzky. Shoots blocked in front by Bacha. Jergos Bacha blocked that. And the puck comes up to Slovakia at center ice. Oh, Haschuk is there. Loose puck played by Messier. Messier on the power play. Gives it off on the left side. 28 seconds ago on the power play. Niedermeyer with a shot. Knocked away and right back toward the blue line. Held in by Shanahan. Shanahan about that. And then a Canadian knockdown. It was Messier. Play continues. 
Puck taken on the right wing side by Messier. Mark Fawcett letting things go. Pass up the middle. Knocked down in front by Mega. Power play is over. We're still scoreless. Flurry, he's having trouble hanging on to the puck here in this period. And it rolls away from Messier. Held in by Shanahan. Uh, hit a skate and Shanahan finds Slovakia with it. Shatan on the left side. Plays for the Edmonton Oilers. Taken away from him. Here's Claude Lemieux. Lemieux gets it to Trevor Linden. Linden checked by Robert Shvela. And a collision there. A couple of Slovakians. And one Canadian player, that was Claude Lemieux, who went down and back to center ice. Pavel Dimitra. Dimitra, he comes into the slot, couldn't get her ball. Adam Foote tried to hold it in, couldn't do it. It comes down to center ice. Now Lindros, right wing, shoots and a save by Mega. Mega back behind the net, bumping into him as Lindros. It rolls out in front and just was tipped away. Mega almost got caught after uh, getting bumped by Lindros. Back comes Peter Bondra. Bondra on the right side. They seem to bottle him up pretty much in this first period. He hasn't had good chances. Now Bondra rolled it in front, but Adam Foote is there. to Gets hit by Lindros, but it was the goaltending in the first period. That was the big story. Curtis Joseph also had to be sharp. He makes a great save here on Otto Hoschuk of the Slovakian team. Curtis Joseph showing his athletic prowess, making the save on Hoschuk, and then down on the other end. This is Vincent Domfus, a good opportunity to score, and what a story it's been here in this period as the youngster Roman Mega comes up with the save on Domfus. Now a look at our been knocked down. There's a shot by Palfi wide to the right side. Rebound comes out to Gretzky at center. He just sends it ahead now to Shanahan. Shanahan to Gretzky with room. Gretzky fakes, moves in. Gretzky still with it. Back to the blue line but nobody there. It's uh, with it in the Slovakian zone. Over to Paul Coffey. He tried to send it in deep. Otto Hashtag breaks it up. Here is a two-on-two. Two. Left side, Shetan in deep. Nice move, but he then got checked by Adam Foote. Good defensive play by Adam Foote. Shetan, these players are used to being the trigger man on their respective teams, and they want to get some of these players going to the net more to cause some traffic in front. And there's a backhander and a save as Brendan Shanahan had the backhander and Roman Mega. Made that stop and hangs on. Flurry. Flurry falling down, throws it off the right wing board. He can with a pressure on now. Sackett back behind the net. Sackett to Stevens and he hit the goal post. Stevens hit the goal post. We're still scoreless. Puck is back behind the net. Played there by Eisenman. The Stevens and a save by Roman Mega. So Scott Stevens hits the post, then Mega stops him. Back comes Slovakia on the right side. Backhander by Pulte is just wide. Rebound, nice quick rebound. Joe Sackett behind the net will set up Scott Stevens. He waits the perfect pass. Stevens doesn't waste any time, has Mega beaten, but off the far post and out the other way. Play underway again here in the center over to Otto Haschuk. Haschuk tried to give it to Seeger. Gretzky's going to jump out in the corner. He gets it back to the right point. The foot knocked down in front. And then swept to the left point. Shot by Coffey. Score! Vincent Domfus. Canada leads. One. You can see Mega still down on the ice. And look at him. He's off balance. He's down. But Domfus. Fast broken up. Coffey in front. Can't hang on. Backhander knocked down. And... Dimitra can't get to it, and now it's clear to center. Shetan and Dimitra were right in front of Curtis Joseph. Remember what this Slovakia team last night against Russia, what they were doing. Russia would score. Lemieux with a shot and a save by Mega. And Slovakia would come right back. Great chance for Lemieux. Here's Eric Lindros. He gets knocked down. Slovakia can't clear. Left point, Niedermeyer, he drives it back behind the net. Lindros to center. Here's a pass and just out of the reach there at the blue line. It would have been a breakaway for Slovakia, but just out of the reach of Richard Zednik. Now again, pass in front, not down on the shot there as the Slovakian front is right out in front. And a Quit when they got behind last night against Russia. They're doing the same in this game after Canada takes a 1-0 lead. This is Stanislav Medrick coming in on Curtis Joseph, and Curtis Joseph has to make a fine save. Now play on the way again as the puck drifts in the European pool. Sweden beat Finland 5-2. Adam Foot with a drive and a save by Mega. He was screened and the whistle blew as he fell backward into the crease. Well, the puck actually was able to sneak through his pads. He puck is and he wasn't sure he had the puck. Knew he made the initial save, didn't know where it was, and it just trickled in behind him. And that's where the Canadians, that's moving in on the side Vancouver's Trevor Linden came in to try and get the rebound you can see that puck just slide behind him and then Mega was able to cover up before in this game thus far they know the skill of the Slovakian here is Bondra shooting he scores 
there's Peter Vondra with the first good chance he's had tonight, and he buries it on the power play. Back, and there's Vondra right there. The move on the defenseman, Sylvain Cote, newly or put into this lineup tonight. Here's Bondra here, watch him, always moving, tremendous skill, keeps himself going, and what an athletic play. The puck bounced up in the air, and he knocked it to his forehand, and Coach shot just wide to the right. Back up to center ice, Team Canada with it. Shanahan pokes it down in deep toward Lindros. What a big line this is, Primo, Shanahan, and Lindros. Otto Hoschuk trying to get it behind the net for Slovakia. He digs it out. He's got a man breaking the center. Here is Lubomir Kolnick. Kolnick shoots. Saved by Curtis Joseph. Got his stick on it. Pretty good job by Scott Stevens coming back. Off. Now they give it away. Up the middle. Shot by Dimitra and a save. Nice pad save there by Curtis Joseph. And some sloppy play. Somebody to give an indication that there was going to be a penalty and play continue. There's a shot by Eiserman just deflected wide. Gretzky on the power play. Puts it back behind the net again. Game tied at 1-1. Puck comes over now to Lindros. Lindros hanging out on the power play. He shoots and a save by Mega off his pad. Puck comes back to Coffee at the right point. He gives it to Gretzky. To Coffee. Coffee is uh, hounded at the blue line and pressured there. Save and then they're able to clear. Canada's having trouble getting it in front. Here's Eiserman with a shot and a save by Mega. He was trying to get it over to Wayne Gretzky, but it deflected to Mega. And he made this. Slovakia has played much better defensively, as I mentioned earlier. They've had 18 shots on the youngster Mega and have scored just one goal. A minute six left to go in this power play. Puck is out of the blue line and uh, driven down a deep by Desjardins. Save made. Rebound. Save again by Mega. As Messier was right there waiting for Mega to make a move. He knows he doesn't have the right angle. And then he had trouble handling the puck. Brian made a good point there because you could see Messi as he brought the puck, puck back. He had some difficulty handling it. And I think that little delay allowed the defenseman Barolik to come back and force Messier to get the shot off quickly with a rolling puck. Behind those markings, Hasjuk is not. They let it go anyway. Puck comes to the blue line. Here is Theron Fleury. Flurry on the power play for another 48 seconds. He shoots, saved by Mega. Shanahan was right in front, but Mega made the stop. Across the line is Messier. Right side, Flurry shoots, and a save by Mega. Rebound hopped over the stick of Zdeno Seeger. They can't clear yet. Three seconds left with a man advantage. Team Canada with it. Pass on the right side to Flurry. Power play's over. Shot there's just wide by Niedermeyer. I don't know whether Mega got over in time. Now he makes a save on a shot from the top of the slot by Shanahan. Roman Mega, the goaltender for Slovakia, the story of this game so far. I think Niedermeyer might have had a little bit of a bouncing puck, and when he got control of it, it looked like he hit the side of the net. Or just